All right, so the Raptors beat the uh, 76ers on Wednesday night. Feels pretty good. As the Raptors win 119-109 to the Philadelphia 76ers, and with that, they're now, at, at this point, by the time recording the video, 3-2 and two of the season. I know I was about to, up, up, about to record the video on Wednesday night, so I didn't have a chance. Well, I did have a chance, but I didn't, didn't do it right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll dive through this game as quick as I can by memory, so we'll see how that works, all right? So first period, the Raptors were, you know, all guns and blaze, and they're shooting the three well. Their offense was clicking. Defense was all, all right. And the first period, you did, well, you did turn over the ball, but you didn't turn over the ball at all. Well, except when you let uh, a sixer hit a game, or hit a buzzer beating three. And thus, you're up 35-27 at the end of the first period. So far, so good. Uh, second period, despite the Sixers, like, you know, making the game close, the Raptors just pulled off. They beat the Sixers handily. You don't even turn over the ball. Despite some foul trouble there and there, you were a dynamite machine. And you know what? All, all cylinders go, and that's what I like to see from this team. And you're up by 10, coming in at halftime. With no turnovers, you're feeling pretty good. Your players like Pascal Siakam and and uh, Garrett Trent Jr. were playing pretty good. That is until you get to the third period, which is a tie, like third period, 26-26 for shot wise, for point wise. I mean, look, the Sixers and the Raptors they were just duking it out. Sixers try to make a comeback. Raptors try to avoid avoid no answers. They try to do what they're supposed to do. And the, and the Raptors just keep on clicking. Keep on clicking. Same with the fourth quarter. I mean, it was a long shot. I mean, you let James Harden take three after three after three. But Gary Tran and Pascal Siakam saved the day. And you know what? It is actually pretty good. I like it. I actually do like it. And you know what? You played pretty good. You've destroyed the Sixers, 119-109. So, um, yeah, feels pretty good, right? Exactly. Defense was uh, was uh, was pretty good. Offense was pretty good. You you don't even turn over the ball, which leads to you know if you want to win a game, defense wins you game champions. Well, it wins you games too, but offense wins games and defense wins champions. So let me go through the uh, stats real quick before. Uh, field goal percentage: fifty-one percent for the field for the Sixers for field goal. 40 out of 79 shot field goal range, 54, 55% for the Raptors, 46 out of 84, three-pointer percentage, well, technically, it was a close one, I mean, 60, is 40, 16 out of 36 three-pointers from the Sixers, especially the beat of Andrew Harden, and the Raptors, 43.2%, big 16 out of 32. Free throw percentage, well, the Raptors were the better team in free throws, 11 from 14, and 13 from 19 from the, from the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, so far, you made 9 turnovers while they while the Sixers pulled in 12 turnovers. Made 12 turnovers. You stole 9. You stole. You have 9 steals while they have 6. The blocks-wise, Raptors had 5 blocks. The Raptors had 2 blocks. And assists-wise, 32 assists for the Raps and 29 for the, Rap, for the Sixers. Now, let's go through a couple of these stats for the Raptors and the Sixers combined. Uh, we know Pascal, we know Scotty Barnes. He came back from injury. He had 16 points, 5 re assists, and 10 rebounds. Played for 33 minutes. And you know what? Look, you're coming back from injury. No one likes it to be injured. So, we got to get to the grind here. you got to make sure what you want to do. You want to play, right? you got to make some shots. I understand you're coming back from, from a knee injury. you got to... You just try to have to, you just gotta avoid getting injured. Gotta do what you're supposed to do. Uh, Pascal Siakam had 20 points, 13 assists, and five rebounds. Played for 38 minutes. Siakam was a legitimate monster, like storming, like storming from one side to the next. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, no, not Fred. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. 27 points and th played for 35 minutes. Too bad he didn't have any rebounds or assists. That's okay. Uh, Fred Van Vliet had 15 points. Played for 8 minutes. No, no, sorry, not 8 minutes. Played for 39 minutes. He had 8 assists and 6 rebounds. Chris Boucher had thir uh, 13 points and had 4 rebounds. 
Pachua had seven points, had four assists and six rebounds. Coloco only had four points. I mean, it wasn't pretty, but that's just me. Uh, sixer wise, Tobias Harris had only three points. He struggled. PJ Tucker had eight points. He struggled as well. Hey, look, you brought in PJ Tucker from from Miami just so you can, you know, go to the conference finals, go to the NBA finals. But it turns out you're not. You're kind of what am I thinking of? Oh yeah, off topic wise. The Sixers have now become the Toronto Maple Leafs of Philadelphia. Forget what I well, I'll say it with LA too, but they're literally the six the the Leafs of Philadelphia. All right, that's enough of soft topic now. And Bead and Ty Joel and Bead, whatever I want to say about him, he's a heartbreaker. And Tyreek Maxey com had a combined of thirty one points and and had five rebounds uh, assists uh, with. Five rebounds. Only difference, Tyreek Maxey had six assists, while Embiid had three re had three assists. And James Harden had 18 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds and played for 36 minutes. So, okay. Feeling good? All right. You should be able to beat the Sixers again. I wouldn't be so surprised if this goes to a split. I wouldn't care. But let's see how this goes, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully.